Hi, I'm Karen Knickerbocker and I'm with Remax Elite. I help families buy and sell homes every day. As a matter of fact, at Remax, we like to say, don't worry, we've done this a million times. Hey, I just finished a 100 mile swim in 66 days. And I'd like to tell you what that meant in my life, what it meant for my clients, and what it might mean for you. So when I decided I was going to swim 100 miles, at that point in my exercise routine, I, was, I knew I could swim 50 laps in a morning. And I was able to do that. I was tired at the end of 50 laps, but I could do it. And then, so I thought, well, I did the math and kind of figured out a few days into my 100 miles that I had miscalculated. It turned out that the pool I was swimming in was shorter than I thought. There are evidently in this country, there are two different lengths of uh, competition pools and I was swimming in what's called a student length pool. So after I uh, had figured out I could, I could do this if I swam 50 laps a day, I figured out later I was gonna have to swim 100 laps a day. And then later on, kind of about midway through, I ran into an obstacle in that I came down with the winter crud and I was out of the pool for nine days. And when I went back to the pool, I had to finish my swim by not missing one day and I had to swim 130 laps a day, which took me two and a half hours a day. So I was in the pool for 30 days without a break for two and a half hours a day. One thing that I learned in the pool was the importance of keeping your commitments. Many times when I would tell folks, people who cared about me, what I was doing, they would say, hey, you were sick for nine days. Why don't you add nine days to the end of your swim goal? You know, you don't have to finish on that day. What's the rush? But I knew that if I wanted to really change as a person, if I wanted to be able to say, I did it, I couldn't change the end goal. I needed to change what I did every day. So I went from swimming 50 laps to 100 laps to 130 laps. But I would say one of my biggest lessons as I was implementing this plan was how important momentum is. And momentum starts at the beginning of the day. And what I found, one little trick I used was the first thing I did when I got out of bed in the morning was I put my swimsuit on. I didn't do anything else until I put my swimsuit on because I knew once I had my suit on, I was going to the pool. So that created momentum. It's a small thing, but it got the ball rolling. And you know, that helps me in so many areas of my life. When I'm doing my real estate business, when I need to call clients, sitting down and making that first call gets the momentum rolling in the right direction. When I'm helping a homeowner and they are overwhelmed with the accumulation of 25 years of worth of stuff that they know they're going to have to get rid of in order to put their house on the market or they're going to have to organize it or store it or do something to get ready to move, I know that if we can make a plan, that's getting the ball rolling. If we can even just get the dates on the calendar, it's getting the ball rolling. So it's helped me in so many ways, both personally and professionally.